Alright, this is the third and final night, and round three. And I saved the Nickelodeon one as the best for last. Who's ready for another story? Ready. 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 Ready, dude. Ready for action. Now, before we start, Gabrielle has an announcement. This is my daughter, Ashley Ray Durham. She is also a friend of Lauren, Rex, and Kenny. Please be sweet to her as she doesn't know anybody, except for her already made friends. Thank you, Gabby. And now, the story will begin. Angela is our sound person as always like parts, or nights, one and two. So, shall we begin? You might have heard of the Pixar, DreamWorks, Blue Sky, and Airdman THX Box trailers, but for what I'm about to tell you is worse. It all started a long time ago while I was inside my house, doing some chores, cleaning the dishes, doing laundry, and washing the floor. Later ago, while I was done, I walked right up to my bedroom door, but when I got through the entrance, what I just touched on with my foot was a cardboard box. I was very confused, and opened it up anyway. What was inside when I got it out of the box was none other than a box set, featuring DVDs of animated Nickelodeon TV shows, but certified by THX. Much like any other THX box set, the title on its cover says, Nickelodeon, the ultimate THX collection. I was confused. None of those shows were THX certified, despite having the THX logo on the cover. Anyway, the cover consisted of various Nickelodeon characters, from SpongeBob SquarePants, Jimmy Neutron, Ren, and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life, The Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, My Life as a Teenage Robot, and finally, Invader Zim, in an orange background, similar to the other previously mentioned THX box set DVD covers. Same as the DreamWorks THX box set, it doesn't have a rating. Aren't any of the shows TVY7, or TVY? I asked myself. Without further ado, I turned on my TV, then, I proceeded to eject the DVD out of the case, and finally, I placed it on my DVD player to start. Suddenly, the first two things that show up were the Nickelodeon Fish logo, and the Paramount DVD logo, with the menu selections previews and main menu. I picked main menu on the right. Then, it gave me a language selection. The languages that wanted me to select were, English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Dutch, and Portuguese. I selected English because that's always the language that I watch movies on. Then, it took me to the menu. The menu consisted of the different Nick characters in different colored boxes, with the orange background, instead of red in the Pixar box set DVD, and blue in the DreamWorks box set DVD. But, not only that, Tex was also in the menu along with the characters as well. What? I asked to myself in extreme reaction. Tex is included in this menu, too. I thought he was made by THX and Pixar, not by DreamWorks nor Nickelodeon. Anyway, the option buttons on the DVD menu were play, scene selection, setup, and bonus features. I pressed play on the menu and the trailer began. A warning came up and it said, This trailer was made for the theatrical release of The Cave. Despite not being T-Check certified and must not be viewed by children, watch at your own risk. The trailer opened with a shot of the view inside Bikini Bottom, where SpongeBob SquarePants' pineapple home is living on, and the sky was very dark. It faded to the interior of the living room, where SpongeBob is having a sleepover with his friends, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, and Gary. Everyone, I have a very bad feeling about this. SpongeBob spoke. Are any of you unaware that there are some news about a psychotic robot who's going around killing every innocent people? No, SpongeBob, Patrick said. I understand what you mean. I think you're just making this entire thing up. There is no such thing as a murdering robot. Squidward stated. That's not true, Squid. He's still around, and he's even recruited some kind of evil alien and his robot who want to take over Earth. He has been murdering innocent people who thinks that they fear his company, so we have to make sure he doesn't try to kill any of us. I bet if that robot ever lands on our world, he'll have us next. Mr. Krabs remarked. Mr. Krabs is right. Sandy reminded. 
but if we plan on finding a way to stop this thing, I'm sure he'll never. Just then, Sandy's sentence gets interrupted by Tex knocking down the door inside SpongeBob's home. Tex looked very sinister and creepy, while smiling in a cartoonish way. Surprise! Sexy Texie is here, and I'm hungry for some sea creatures and some squirrel. Tex greeted. SpongeBob and his friends gasp as Tex arrived inside. Which one should I eat first? Tex wondered. Tex then pointed to Patrick. Patrick was in shock. Tex chuckled while licking his lips, then brings out a sharp knife and fork, and sneaks up to Patrick. Wait. Stop. You do not know what I taste like. Patrick muttered, as he cowered away from Tex. Oh, I bet you taste fresh and meaty. Tex replied. You get away from Patrick. He's my best friend, SpongeBob shouted. If you kill him, I will call the cops. Mr. Krabs shouted. Please, don't do this no. 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 Patrick screamed. Tex pokes his fork hardly on Patrick's right arm. Blood was coming out from Patrick's arm. Patrick was screaming very painfully. Tex devoured a cut piece of Patrick's right arm with his fork and was enjoying it with a creepy black skin feeling in his mouth. Tex then cuts Patrick's left arm with a knife, and Patrick is still screaming. Tex wildly gobbled up Patrick's left arm, with SpongeBob and the rest of his friends closed their eyes from their reaction. Tex ate all of Patrick's arms, and loudly belched after that. I needed those arms back. Patrick yelled. Sorry, but I've ate them all. Your arms are never going to grow back. Tex said. Oh, why? Patrick cried. It's time that you need more taste, Rick. Tex yelled. Tex brings out a flamethrower, and Patrick became offended after what Tex said. Hey. My name's. Not. Patrick's sentence gets interrupted by Tex burning him with a flamethrower. Patrick screams in pain again, but it was even more painful and louder that I had to close my ears. Patrick is cooked in flames. His eyes, teeth, tongue, clothes, and skin were melting. Tex finished cooking Patrick and his entire body was turned crispy brown. This scene was very horrifyingly disgusting and gruesome in my reaction. Just then, Tex began eating Patrick by eating his entire body. Patrick. No. SpongeBob cried. Now. Time to cook the rest of you. Tex shouted in a demonic voice. SpongeBob and his friends scream in horror as they run away in separate places from Tex. Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Sandy started running away outside the house, while Tex started his jetpack and chased after them. Outside SpongeBob's house, Squidward was running back to his Easter Island head house, with Mr. Krabs and Sandy following him. Before Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Sandy opened the door to Squidward's house, Tex appeared right behind them. Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Sandy turned around to Tex, and they gasp. Tex burns the two sea creatures, and Sandy, with a flamethrower, the same way he did to Patrick. Inside the pineapple house, SpongeBob was panicking and running back to his bedroom. Just when SpongeBob entered inside, he heard Gary's meowing. Gary? Is that you? SpongeBob wondered. SpongeBob turned around to see Gary, who's trying to quickly make it through SpongeBob's bedroom, but he's slow to move. Gary! Hold on, I'm coming for ya! SpongeBob called out. SpongeBob starts running up to Gary, but before he was about to pull him out of the ground, Tex teleported right in front of them. SpongeBob jumped in shock and Gary turned around in fear. Hello, Yellow Sponge with his pet snail. Tex greeted. All of your friends have been cooked. SpongeBob angrily stood up to Tex and spoke. How could you do this? You cannot kill my friends like this, Red Robot. And you cannot kill me and Gary next either. Don't you even see what you're doing here? You are killing every innocent people that don't want to be killed, so you leave me and everyone in Bikini Bottom alone, or get lost. After when SpongeBob said that, Tex slowly got out his chainsaw and started it up and laughs maniacally. SpongeBob quickly pulls Gary off the ground. SpongeBob whimpers loudly, while covering his eyes and holding on to Gary. Before the chainsaw made contact with SpongeBob and Gary, he stopped for a moment. Hold on. Text stopped. You're a sponge. 
You can't die if I use this. I'd better salt you guys up. At the moment, Tex pulled out a huge container of salt and sprinkled it on SpongeBob and Gary's SpongeBob screamed while Gary groaned in agony, while Tex, on the other hand, laughed like crazy. After that, the screen then faded to black. But the trailer wasn't over yet. It cut to a shot of Jimmy Neutron's lab. Inside the lab, Jimmy is talking with Carl, Sheen, Gotthard, Cindy, and Libby. My friends, Cindy and Libby, I have very awful news. An evil robot is out there killing all of the people. If he ever finds us in our town, we'll all be ending up the same way the others did. Jimmy spoke. Jimmy, I'm scared. I wished I stayed home forever with my parents. Carl cried. Don't worry Carl, I'm sure we'll be safe. Jimmy told Carl. Ah, uh, what's that right behind us? Sheen questioned, who was pointing directly at a strange figure behind Jimmy, Carl, Cindy, Libby, and Goddard. This strange figure was revealed to be Tex, who's staring at Jimmy, Carl, Sheen, Cindy, Libby, and Goddard. They gasped in horror as Tex arrived. Hello, stupid inventors. Tex greeted. Looks like Sexy Texy is about to have a sleepover with you all. No, you're not and we are not stupid inventors. Jimmy Neutron yelled, with realistic aggression. We heard about what you did. So get lost or we will call the police. You heard what Jimmy said. She reminded. Oh, really? Tex asked. Okay then. I'll go. But first, Carl, I was going to save this Guasson for later. But I think I'll give it to you. Thanks, Red Robot. Carl replied, as he wolfed down the croissant. This is delicious. What flavor is it? Mercury, of course, Tex said, as he smiled his toothy yellow grin. What? Carl gasped, as he <coughs> coughed up bloody, dying instantly. Now, time for me to do my own experiment, Tex yelled as he held an array of chemicals. He then tossed the chemicals all over everyone, and they all screamed in agonizing agony as they got hit killing them instantly. The screen cut to black. But the trailer still wasn't over yet. It cut to a shot of Jenny's house from my life as a teenage robot. Jenny was up, getting ready to start her day. When suddenly, Tex appeared in front of her. Hello, robot girl. Tex greeted. What do you say that we go on a date? Okay, Jenny said. You're cute, but you're like 40. Also, I heard a lot about you. You've been traveling the multiverse, killing innocent people and various characters for disrespecting all over your company. I will obliterate you. Is that right? Tex asked. Well, if I can't have you as my girlfriend, prepare to short circuit. Tex then got out a bucket of water and poured the bucket of water on Jenny and started malfunctioning as she screamed in complete anguish. Tex left while laughing maniacally so he will not malfunction too. Jenny then exploded, with oil, bolts and nuts. But the trailer wasn't over yet. It cut to a shot the lab from Danny Phantom. Danny was screwing around with a few of his parents' machines. But at that moment, Tex popped up out of nowhere. Hello, Casper. Tex greeted. Hey, don't call me that. Danny yelled. What you are doing to these people is useless, and I will give you a battle that you will never forget. At that moment, Danny transformed into his ghost form and was ready to battle Texas. But at that moment, Tex pulled out a ghost catcher and placed it underneath Danny. Danny screamed as he was sucked into the catcher. Who are you gonna call? Tex asked. Sexy Texy. Tex was going towards a boiling machine, ready to boil Danny. But at that moment, the scene cut to black. The trailer still wasn't over yet. It cut to a shot of Timmy's house from the Fairly Odd Parents. Cosmo, Wanda, and Timmy were eating some potato chips and watching TV. So Cosmo, Wanda, Timmy spoke. Have you heard about a crazy robot? No, I haven't, Timmy. Cosmo stated. Neither have I. Wanda said. He's a lot more villainous than Vicky. Timmy gasped. Just then, they heard evil laughter. Wait, Vicky's gonna bust me? Timmy asked fearfully. I doubt it, Timmy. Cosmo replied. It has to be something scary than that. At that moment, Tex teleported into Timmy's room, startling everyone. It's the robot. Timmy shouted. Hello, little boy and your pets. Tex greeted. 
Hey! Wanda berated. We are not pets. We are Timmy's helpers. Yeah. Timmy added. Name one good reason why you are here. To get my wishes, of course. Tex answered, that's Jenny's, red robot. Cosmos stated. I wish that you all were in an ocean. Tex answered. Wait, what? They all gasped. At that moment, Timmy, Cosmo, and Wanda were transported to an ocean, full of sharks. They screamed in agony as the sharks ate them all, then the screen cut to black. But the trailer still wasn't over yet, it cut to a shot of Rocco's house. He was getting some things together to go on a long vacation. But at that moment, a doorbell rings. Who could that be? Rocco wondered. He went to answer the door, and found Tex at his doorstep. Hello, Kangaroo Tex greeted. I heard you're going on a vacation. Where to? Um, I'm just going to Hawaii. Rocco answered. But it's only for one person. So, you could have invited me, Rocco, Tex stated. We could have just gone together. Now, it's time to say aloha. Tex pulled out an AK-47 and chased after Rocco. Rocco tried to run to his room. Tex shot Rocco. Rocco screamed in agony as he was being massacred, much to Tex's amusement. But the trailer wasn't done yet. It cut to a shot of Ren and Stimpy driving in their car. So, why are we here again? Ren asked. Well, I heard that there is a robot traveling across the multiverse, killing innocent people, and many characters. Stimpy replied, he's killed a group of toys, three fish, two monsters and a little girl, three bugs, a race car, a tow truck, a family of superheroes, an ogre family, a donkey, a dragon, three weird donkey hybrid things, a cat, some kung fu masters, a lion, a zebra, a hippo, a giraffe, four penguins, two monkeys, three lemurs, a raccoon, a turtle, a family of porcupines, a hyperactive squirrel, a dramatic possum, a teenage possum, a family of cave people, a group of dragon flying vikings, a flock of chickens, an inventor, his dog, their bunnies, two rats, a crew of pirates, a flock of sheep, a dog, a farmer, more cavemen, a pig, some weird characters from the 80s, and who knows who else. Tex, who was in a bulldozer, said, ah, the memories. Time to add another. Tex runs over Ren and Stimpy with his bulldozer, as the duo screamed for their lives. And before they died, Ren managed to get one last sentence out. Stimpy you absolute idiot. But before he can finish his sentence, the screen cut to black. But the trailer still wasn't over, it showed the last scene. It cut to a shot of Zim's spaceship. Tex walked in with his flamethrower. Hello, weird alien. Tex greeted. Hey! Zim yelled. It's you. Get out of here before I report you to the cops. Not gonna happen. Tex said. Say goodbye, alien. Tex then triggered the flamethrower and burned Zim. Zim screamed in agony as he was being burnt while Tex laughed like crazy. The trailer then cut to black, and reached its ending point. It showed the THX logo, the Nickelodeon logo is seen covered in blood. The deep note played and this time, the screams belonged to Spongebob, Patrick, Timmy, Cosmo, Wanda, Jimmy, Carl, She, Jenny, Danny, Rocco, Ren, Stimpy, and Zim. After the deep note ended, Tex jumped in front of the logo, as usual. Hello Nickelodeon fans, said Texas, I'm back at it again, killing your favorite Nickelodeon characters. Want to know why? Because they disrespected me and my company. So remember the golden rule of sexy Texie, if you're scared of me or my logo, I will find you and give you the ride of your life. Sweet dreams. Tex flew away into the night sky, laughing evilly. The old THX slogan, the audience is listening, dropping down into the screen. Then, it faded to black, with a, to be continued, meaning that this won't be the last THX trailer that I see. The DVD ended and it took me back to the menu. I was scared at what I saw. So, I took a hammer and smashed the DVD to bits. But what I didn't know was that my problems with THX were just beginning. The next day, I contacted Nickelodeon about the DVD and they told me they wanted to send the DVD back. Be careful what DVDs you find. To be continued. And Tex lived happily ever after, the end. Hannah, that's not acceptable. 
but okay. On top of that, let's roast marshmallows and turn in for the night because we are going home tomorrow morning after we pack up. For all the RVers, let Ashley, the new girl, drain the sewage tanks before starting up your RV to go home tomorrow, and for the trailer owners, hook up your vehicle to it before leaving tomorrow. Everyone else, take down everything. Cabin patrons, please pack things up before leaving tomorrow. All viewers, thanks for watching the three-part video. Hopefully all three parts will be merged by the creator and co-creator, if he has one, at the end of the year.